Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle, just in case you didn't know, now you do. And today we're going to talk about if your clothes are fitting you. So when you make clothes, um, and if you don't, so this may be, not be something that you generally understand, but it's fine and that's totally okay. But when clothes are designed, they, the person who makes them generally has an idea of how they should fit on your body. Or like how they should be worn, I guess. And sometimes people just don't realize that they're supposed to sit a certain way or you, there are signals by the clothes that tell you whether or not it's the right size for you, maybe, um, you know, it just isn't sitting right on your body or you're not wearing, wearing the right undergarments with it or um, maybe it's just not the right style for you even. That can be too true too. So I have a few particular like, let's say tips, I guess, uh, that will help you decide like whether or not your clothes are fitting you properly. But for me, the number one rule is are you comfortable? Are you constantly pulling at your clothes? Then they probably don't fit you right. If you are constantly like in pain, your clothes don't fit you right. It doesn't matter if you love that particular garment. If it hurts you to wear it, then it does not fit properly. And you either need to get it let out, taken in, tailored, whatever you need to do to make it fit so it doesn't hurt. If things like your buttons are gaping, then it doesn't fit you right. And you either need to go up a size and then have it tailored down for the rest of your body, or maybe don't wear things with buttons down the front. I mean, that's kind of hard because some people need to wear like tailored shirts every day, and I understand that. But in that case, you really should make friends with a tailor and pay them appropriately for the awesome work that they do. So uh, let's get into it. I have a few things listed here in my productivity journal. My number one, or I guess the thing I see the most is um, sleeves, like set in sleeves. So like just sewn into the regular shoulder line of your top um, when they don't sit where they're supposed to. So on a tailored shirt or um, a blazer even, um, so a blazer should come like this the edge of the sleeve should come to like the edge of your arm so it, like it's straight out like this um it shouldn't stick out further unless it's the exaggerated style of it or you're wearing um a particular like a men's blazer or something like that's going to be broader but if you're looking for like a fitted blazer it is supposed to come even with like the edge of your arm when you are wearing a tailored shirt it should sit it should sit right about here and you should see a little bit of your arm go into the sleeve you don't want the sleeve to stick out a whole bunch and you don't want your shoulder to stick out a lot into the sleeve either you don't want the shoulder seam which for me on my sleeve here to be way over here you want it to be very close to the edge of your shoulder here that means that if you've got it on correctly and you're wearing the right size, then that's where it should sit. However, a lot of people have quite broad shoulders and your sleeves will like stick out. But when you're wearing something that's tailored when you're, um, and your shoulder sticks out into your sleeve, it often means that it's going to be really tight across your back and you won't be able to move properly, you won't have like range of motion. In that case, what you're better off to do is go for a larger size and then get it tailored down to the rest of your body. If that's not an option, that's fine. As long as you're actually comfortable wearing it, that's all that really matters. But just so you know, when you put on something, if you've never tried that particular type of clothing before, then it's hard to know, are you wearing it right? Like, is it, that's where it's supposed to sit? You know, is that how it's supposed to look? And the people in the dressing room will just tell you anything to sell you it. You're like, oh, that looks good. You could look like utter trash and like feel like trash, but you buy it because they tell you it looks nice, you know? Another thing I see a lot of um, is Empire Lines. Um, so the Empire Line is the line that 
the waistline that sits below the bust or your boobs and it's like so usually for like faux wrap tops or like v-necks um a lot of formal wear has empire lines or like stretchy tops where they crisscross in the front um well that line is supposed to sit under your boobs in fact it's supposed to your boobs are supposed to sort of be like cupped in the top um they that line is not supposed to go through your boobs it goes below them by probably a couple of inches in fact and if it can't sit that way then the shirt is too small for you because it means that the shirt doesn't can't accommodate your chest and those particular tops are probably not made with quite large chested women in mind and if you were uncomfortable wearing it in the correct like in the fitting spot then it more than likely means that like your boobs just like are gonna spill right out of it and that's I mean okay if you're comfortable with that but it's probably quite uncomfortable to have the empire line run straight across your nipples you know and I never really understood how people could wear a shirt like that when it's supposed to sit below because I'm pretty sure my nipples would feel suffocated all day or like chafed because that fabric is like sitting there all day long and I just don't know how people do it um obviously your clothes move and things like that when you when you move but that line is supposed to sit below and in fact the shirt should be like fitted underneath or like have some sort of elastic to keep it in place um and it's really up to you how you want to wear it but honestly that just looks uncomfortable also it can give you like a double boob where you have like squish above squish below and then indent and that just probably is not the best look but that's really up to you but I would I would probably just like stay away honestly they put empire lines on like all fat people clothes which annoys the shit out of me because you know you don't see it a lot on regular sizes or straight sizes but I see it everywhere on plus sizes because it means they can make the bottom bigger and they can save fabric and like yeah this next one is for you legging lovers um, because we wear our leggings, I am one of those legging lovers, we wear our leggings until they are see-through. Um, and if they are see-through when you bought them, then they're probably not meant to be pants. Let's just start off with that. Not all leggings are pants. Some are like tights with no feet, you know? Um, that's not really the problem though. The problem is that when you sit down in those leggings and you can see all the like white elastic fibers as things stretch out and suddenly become see-through, that is when you have a problem because when you're standing and your pants are opaque and we can't see your underwear that's like leopard print or I don't know, it's flowers all over it and whatever, um, that is you know that's fine but the second you sit down or you bend over or you do anything and everyone can see what color underwear you're wearing or what pattern they are um you probably don't want that to be happening i mean i don't particularly like going flashing my underwear everywhere you might that's totally cool but they're not supposed to do that especially for workout leggings or um like those thick cottony ones um, they're not supposed to do that and when you can see the elastic fibers in the fabric when you sit down or like it gets stretched it means it's either too small or it's very much worn out and it might be time to replace it um, you those are a uh, particular garment that people don't really care for the way they should leggings and things with a high elastic content should never go in the dryer um, they should be hung to dry you can wash them in the washing machine if you want but they are a hang to dry item because putting them in the dryer ruins the elastic in it and means they wear out a lot faster. So if you want your leggings that you probably spend a lot of money on um, to last a long time, put them up and just hang them up to dry when you are done washing them and they'll last longer. But how you know they're probably not the right size for you is when you sit and you can either see your skin, like the color of your skin come through or the elastic fibers when you can see like the white stretchy bits they're probably too small for you um although it can be hard because if you have big thighs and a tiny waist then it's probably going to stretch out on your thighs more and not as much at your waist and it's just about fit 
it, you be the judge of it, but just that can be an indicator of something not fitting or being worn out. Now that you know what to look for when you are shopping and trying things on in terms of fit in your clothes and things like that, uh, maybe you'll have a much more successful time in the fitting room or when you're thrifting or something like that. Um, so you don't have to follow these rules. They're not even really rules. They're just, this is likely how it's supposed to be worn. Um, Again, above all else, you should be comfortable. Your clothes don't need to hurt, they don't need to squish you, they don't need to give you a tummy tuck or whatever other nonsense if you don't want them to be. If you are uncomfortable, then your clothes are not fitting you right. And you should be comfortable, uh, you know, I would say 98% of the time when you're wearing clothes. Uh, Formal wear, probably not ever going to be comfortable, but at least you want to be comfortable somewhat in that, you know, where you're not like tripping and stuff. But anyway, moving on. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I do want to remind you that for the month of November, I have some very limited edition merch available on my website, daniellemcallister.com. It's in the link the link is in the description. Um, apparently I can't talk today. It's fine. Uh, the items are only going to be available for the month of November, so if you're watching it outside of this, check. There might be something available, but uh, these particular uh, Christmas sweater themed items are only available for November. Thank you all so much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I do try to read every single one, so thank you very much for engaging like that. I appreciate it. Um, I feel like I'm just rambling at this point in time. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to share this video, subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!